Aloha. Thanks for considering the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary. This commentary is about guns. There are 400 million guns in this country. It's a world record in absolute numbers and per capita. Yes, they say that there are more guns in the hands of American gun owners than in the hands of the American military. Even if you closed all the gun factories, gun stores and gun shows tomorrow, those guns would still be out there, and every one of them is a lethal weapon. Let me suggest but most of those guns are not owned by peace-loving liberals. Many are owned by conservatives or ultra-conservatives, many of whom believe in Trump, racism, supremacy and the big lie. They are waiting for Trump to return to power by stolen election, insurrection, civil war or otherwise. This could be around the 2022 election or if not then the 2024 election. Many would bring their guns into the streets over some divisive issue or provocation. The resulting violence will be very different than lone actors killing 10-year-old kids in school. When this violence goes out into the streets it will accelerate. Once a few guns come out, more will follow. Would it be a surprise if we woke up one morning and found gun-toting mobs had taken over the government? Would it be a surprise if they took over the legislature, the governor's office or city hall? Would the police or the military be able to remove them? More likely, they would have their way with our government, our law enforcement, and our civil rights. After the massacre in Uvalde, many people are cynical about the possibility of gun control in Mitch McConnell's Senate. And it may be too late for that anyway. The guns are out there and many owners are ready to use them. There is no meaningful effort or plan to limit the flood of guns in America. We don't and won't collect them or stop their manufacture or sale. But even if we did, those guns are out there in the hundreds of millions, and at this point they present a huge threat to our society and every one of us. Our thoughts and prayers are simply not enough. We should be very worried now, and not only for the children. Thanks so much for your consideration of the views and concerns expressed in this Think Tech commentary. Aloha.